it's Laura and you're watching Laura Xani. So today I'm here talking about my tattoos. I've been waiting to do this for like a year now but I wanted to wait until I got my third tattoo before I showed anyone. So let's get started on my first tattoo. My first tattoo is on my left wrist and it says believe with a little heart. I will of course insert close-ups. So this tattoo was done on the 16th of July 2012 in uh, Palmanova, just outside the Santa Lucia Hotel. If you go down the drive, if you've ever been to Santa Lucia, there's a tattoo parlour straight across from you. Uh, I don't know if it's still here five years on, but yeah. So it cost me 50 euros. I had it planned for about a month and a half before I went. I, I knew I wanted a tattoo. At that time, um, the year before, I had uh, had a mental breakdown and had started self-harming. And I'd gone to therapy that year, year 2012, and just before we left was my last session on the 4th of July 2012, was my last session. That whole stuff is another video, if you want to see that, let me know. Um, I don't mind talking about it, it's got to a point where I can talk about it now, but it was not a good time, basically. So I wanted a tattoo to show that I was stronger and I could be stronger. Um, I was also going into my sixth year at school, so I was going into my last year at high school, so it was kind of like, well, I kind of need to do something now, don't I? So I decided to get a tattoo. It was originally going to be Stay Strong. The font was going to stay the same and the heart was going to stay the same, but the heart was going to be on the right wrist with the strong. But the night before I got it done, we changed our minds and we decided that we weren't going to go the exact same as Demi Lovato, because I might regret that. I stand here today regretting. Um, but yeah, so we decided believe means it can mean a thousand things. It can believe I believe in Sherlock Holmes. Um, I believe I'm worth staying alive. I believe that everything happens for a reason. So believe means a lot of things and it's one of those kind of normal quotes. But the thing was we chose it and I realised that Justin Bieber had just brought out the Believe album and I wanted to die. I was like, oh my god, people are going to think it's a Justin Bieber tattoo. Even though everyone thinks it says Leleve. So obviously there's a close up. Tell me if you think it says Leleve. Because I think it says Believe but just the B. I didn't want a capital B. I wanted a small lowercase B. I've got a thing for lowercase. I don't know what it is. Um, but the pain for it didn't really hurt apart from the top of the L and the top of the I. That's where it really, really kind of, not hurt, but it just kind of was like, ah, okay, I get it, oh, because it's just on top of a bone. But uh, 50 euros, the font is Satisfaction, so if you go into dafont.com, it's Taylor Swift's font, it's called Satisfaction, so that's what that font is, if you're wondering. The heart is the Demi Lovato heart uh, that she had on her Here We Go Again album, I think. Check that, I think it is. Um, so yeah, that was my first tattoo. I don't regret it, I regret the heart. But I don't regret the tattoo, I love it. It's my first tattoo, I just kind of like... It was so weird though. Going into school, once I got my tattoo, everyone thought it was fake. Until like, I just couldn't believe that I'd actually got a real tattoo. And I was a nerdy girl at school, like don't let anyone fool you. I was the right nerdy girl. And it's weird, like suddenly I walk into school on the first day of sixth year with a bloody tattoo. And everyone's like, oh my god, lol, it's got a tattoo. How? Um, so yeah, my parents signed the consent form, all that sort of stuff. Flash forward three years and it's 2015 and I am desperate for another tattoo. And it comes to me when I'm like, I just want a tattoo. I want a tattoo. So I decided the night before I got my tattoo that I was getting a tattoo, essentially. It was the most spontaneous thing I've ever done. I was just like, I'm getting a tattoo tomorrow. That's it doing it. I told, the only person I told was my friend Fern that I was getting a tattoo and I was planning to meet my friend Ryan in Glasgow anyway because he was in Glasgow for uni. So I said, look, I'm coming to Glasgow straight after college. Do you want to meet up with me and come and get, come with me while I get a tattoo? And he was like, are you joking? I was like, no. And he's like, okay, cool, I'll do that. So I got him, I think, at Central Station and we walked to a couple of tattoo parlours. I'd researched it whilst I was at college, tattoo parlours in Glasgow, and I found Forevermore. I love Forevermore. But their starting price was 50 for a tattoo. I only had 30 quid. So I went to Land Ahoy, which is straight across, which is to the left and up a bit. And I was like, okay, I'll go to Land Ahoy. They started at 30, and I got this. I hate it. I detest it. Worst tattoo of my life. I hate it. Didn't hurt. Bled like a bitch but it didn't hurt. It was over in five minutes, but 
I am so mad at myself for not thinking it through and not designing the 13. The star's fine, but the 13 annoys me. But basically, word of the wise, always have the panthum with you because I had the panthum with that and it healed perfectly and it's not faded at all even though it's been five years and it's quite open to the sun. This has faded, it's been two years and I didn't use the panthum, so top tip. Uh, the 13 is because 13 is my lucky number and has been since 2004 and uh, quite a few lucky things have happened to me on Friday the 13th and the star is because my grand died when I was 7 and I was always her little star because obviously I'm an acting student and I'm a performer and to her I was always her little star. I used to get up and do karaoke, it used to be the cheeky girls touch my bum. I don't know. Anyway, um, so it cost me 30 quid and uh, yeah, I mean, I want to get it touched up because it's obviously quite faded and um, so I want to get it touched up but I need your help because I'm either going to get it touched up and then the Draco constellation around it or I'm going to get it covered up fully this summer. So you guys have like a little while to decide what I'm going to do before I go back to uni. It's going to either be covered up or it's going to be touched up in the Draco constellation. So please, please, please comment down below and tell me should I get it covered up or should I get it touched up with the Draco constellation around it. You tell me. And if you want me to get it covered up, Tell me, what should I get it covered up with? <clears throat> Moving on to my third tattoo. So flash forward another two years and I was sitting in my flat and a lot of things had been going wrong and I knew I wanted a tattoo. Now I had been thinking about this for about three months and I thought, right, next time Sass comes in, I don't have much to do, I don't need a lot of money, I'm getting a tattoo. So I decided I was going to get a tattoo. And it's on my foot, so hopefully there is inserts just now. And uh, it says it is what it is, with a green heart. Uh, the heart was originally red, and I changed it on the day uh, that I got it, because green is my uni's colour, which I'm actually wearing my uni top today. And uh, green is also for Slytherin, and I have other tattoos planned where I want patches of green in it, so I thought, stick with the green. And it's the first tattoo with colour. I got it done at Forevermore in Glasgow. It was 70 quid. 100%, 100% worth the money. 20 pound deposit, 50 quid to pay on the day. Couldn't have asked for better. It's on my foot, so it's on a great position. It was meant to be in the arch of my foot, but we ended up putting it in front of my toes and it actually looks better. You see it much more with shoes on. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with that. I love it. It's my favorite tattoo of them all. Pain, nah. I think it hurt in a couple of bits. I think the heart was the bit that hurt the most and that was because it was shaded in. But meh. Like, none of the pain. I was never in excruciating pain with any of my tattoos. They all kind of hurt as if you were slapping yourself quite hard. Do you know what I mean? It was that kind of pain but then gone. Um, so yeah, no, it didn't hurt. I was obviously went from Sterling to Glasgow for it. So when I was coming back, it didn't hurt. Didn't bleed at all in any way, shape or form. I wasn't ill after, unlike my other two tattoos that I was ill after. Um, this tattoo wasn't ill after, it was absolutely fine. And I love it! And actually, the font is my own handwriting. And <laughs> you can ask any of my friends that were up at uni with me at the time. I had six pages of my handwriting picking which one and I went around my whole flat being like, which one do we like? Which one do we like? Which one is the best? And we eventually picked it and I just left it with the tattoo artist and was like that. Here, can I have this exactly like this? So yeah, it's my own handwriting, which means a little bit more to me. The meaning behind it is, it is what it is. The, the, right, I could, I'd love to lie and say that the meaning is, I mean, it has two meanings. The meaning I tell people and the meaning it actually means there's, so the meaning I tell people is that it is what it is. It's just a saying, I mean, everything that happens, everything that happens for a reason, but it is what it is. You can't go back and change things, you can't go back and change time. And by the time I got the tattoo, I booked it on the 10th of February. Little did I know. I went to Glasgow to go see Fifty Shades Darker, um, which I've got a review of. And I went to go and I just thought, I'm in Glasgow, I'll go book my tattoo whilst I'm here. And I went and booked it on the 10th of February. That was a Friday. Roll on the Tuesday and my world got turned upside down. 
So from, I just kind of was like, this tattoo couldn't have come at the best time, this saying couldn't come at the best time. And um, when I was getting tattooed, the guy was like, I have never tattooed such an accurate statement on anyone. And I was like, thank you. So the most accurate statement the tattoo artist has ever put is in my foot. Because it is what it is, it is such a kind of throwaway statement, but it is so thing. But the actual meaning behind it is, it was a Sherlock quote, and I wanted a Sherlock quote for ages on me. I had toyed with, back in 2014 and 2015, I had toyed with like Moriarty and Sherlock on like these parts of my arm. I, I was gonna get like other things. Um, it was either it is what it is or it was gonna be to thy own self be true, which is a Hamlet quote which I am gonna get somewhere on me, but not just now. So I ended up going with, and I was trying to think of quotes from season one, season two, season three, and then when season four rolled around and then they kept saying it is what it is, Martin Freeman kept saying it in interviews, I was like, fuck it, that's my quote, that's it, that's it, that's just, because it, to me it's a Sherlock quote, but to everyone else it's a normal quote, so yeah, as much as I hated Sherlock, it is what it is, season four, it is what it is. See, it's so accurate, so that's it. I have plans for so many more tattoos, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Technically six tattoos, I think I'm changing my mind about the one here. But um, no, I've got so many tattoos that I want have planned. I'm so excited to get them done. Um, but yeah, so so I have plans for other tattoos. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys soon with another video. Bye. I could go Lumos and a light could turn on. Or I could go Nox and a light will turn off. So to me, that is um, why I think Harry Potter is so special. Because it has lasted 20